Business owners affected by growing homeless encampments in Palm Springs are taking matters into their own hands. News Channel 3's Jennifer Franco explains what those efforts look like. Shopping carts are collected after ending up at this homeless encampment on Crossley Road and Ramon in Palm Springs. This time, though, it's not the city or police leading cleanup here like they did in December. We were noticed by the property management company here uh, at the shopping center that includes Walmart, Starbucks, and several other locations. PSPD has been receiving complaints about more tents popping up in this area. Several of the encampments on this location are encroaching on their property. They're tying uh, encampments up. They're damaging the property. And so that security firm apparently is over here today uh, working to clear some of those people out of the location. Those breaking the law on private property are clearing out like Chris Allen. Just repeats itself and gets shut down and then we just move around. It's kind of how it goes. <laughs> he says he's not sure where he'll go next and faces challenges getting around. There's a a little issue with uh, pushing things around in a shopping cart, so makes it a little tricky because that's how we'd uh, previously transported our things. To qualify for services offered by local nonprofits, anyone experiencing homelessness must follow the rules. Some of these people are not in violation and on the property. We're kind of here to kind of mitigate. Homeless individuals complying with the law can stay until PSPD comes up with a longer term solution. The department launched Operation Relentless Sun last week as part of that effort, which will crack down on homeless criminals eventually. Collecting information and offering help is still a priority. Just recently we housed up towards three, four people from this encampment alone, um, and, it was, and it was definitely a location uh, that has been growing. In Palm Springs, Jennifer Franco, News Channel 3.